Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Crouton and today we are going to be playing Timberborn. Uh, we are working on expanding the, the district and making sure we don't die because last time we did almost die. Um, we are working on getting the uh, population growth up or the population growing. Um, and hopefully maybe we'll have enough science to get the scrap metal started. Um, I plan on at least getting a second district set up so that we do have the ability to get a scrap metal farm kind of going. Um, but anyways, let's get into it. I'm gonna burp. That was a weak burp, but whatever. Anyways, so as I was saying, um, up here you'll see our population is not doing so great uh we do need to get that that ball rolling because um we did struggle a little bit last episode when we uh, almost died because we didn't have any blueberries uh, and again that kind of shows the importance of blueberries cool so i hope you're having a great day or great night or whatever it might be the uh it's Friday for me, so you know I'm. I think my second episode of the Timberpoint series came out today, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed that if you watched it. If you didn't, well, you know uh, I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Just kidding. Oh brother, this guy stinks. Anyways, <laughs> so it looks like we have plenty of food. Um, the issue is, of course, population. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the sim run. Um, and just kind of start getting those things all put together. Uh, I know we do have quite a bit going on over here so we can get our dam started um, and get kind of more dams, other more dams put up there, up here as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a pathway started because I we, there is a scrap metal ruin uh, over here and there's quite a bit of scrap metal. So I, I believe that you know, the next step to getting this part of the part of the build started is, is going across over here and hopefully I'm not jumping the gun I I don't think I am um, it's good to at least get a head start here with this because we are going to need scrap metal sooner than later um, so might as well just start adapting everything to that the uh, most important thing is obviously a district center I'm going to go ahead and place that. Let's see. A few moments later. I think this will do. What I'm going to do is instead I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to put this here so that we can at least get around to going up. Um, and then we need a staircase. We put one there. And I think what I'll do is I'll end up just putting. That's too many. Uh, the least amount as possible. And then this goes there and there. So we'll go there. We actually need to uh, build a um, district crossing. Oh, okay. Well, that spoils all of my plans for that. So. We'll let that uh, go for now, temporarily. Um, we are still struggling a little bit with our population. Um, we aren't. We only have three breeding pods at this point, so I I do think we're gonna need to make more. Um, oh, we actually are good. I forgot. Sorry, brain fart. Um, so we have two more breeding pods here. I think I'm going to go ahead and increase the uh, uh, What's it called priority? Uh, construction priority on these breeding pods because we we really do need to get our population up um, This is taking a very long time to get the basics done um, I'm thinking That just kind of the state of everything I would like to start getting uh, more kind of production going on but you know with the lack of population it's not really going great 
Um, since this is not being done, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this one. Um, I do. I want to get a. I want to get the gears started. Um, move this so I can get a gear workshop placed down here because we need, need we do need places that are going to kind of be close to sharing power. Um, and I didn't really necessarily want to do anything here unless I place a might not be a bad idea actually you know what I'm gonna place this path or platform here um, get that prioritized high uh, and that's because I'm gonna put the gear workshop here um, and then once the gear workshop is built I can get that started uh, we do have two two jobs that are um, or two yeah two unemployed no two jobs that are vacant sorry that was I don't know why that was so difficult um, so hopefully we can get that taken care of uh, soon um, I think I would also like to buy a couple of uh, what, decorations um, these are good because they do help with the uh, happiness and well-being of the beavers uh, so as you can see here um, the bench doesn't do anything but the shrubs they help with aesthetics um, and similar to the rest of them uh, and I, I believe the uh, aesthetics for the shrub and roof and the beaver statue they all increase as the beavers have a access to the uh, to the different decorations um, so like here for example if I had been smart I would have left some room for a uh, some sort of shrub uh, but because I can technically put them like here it'll get to both of these uh, buildings um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that place those there and this is kids this is why you uh, you space things out and don't make things so cramped so we're just gonna go ahead and let these guys build. Um, oh, hey, look, this was built. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and empty this. Um, only 42 in there, so that's good. There's two in there. It's great. Um, we will need to build more storage for the gears. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and do that here. What is this? This is fermented soybeans, so. And go ahead. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and get that done, and then put this onto gears right there. And then let's get our priorities. I'm gonna put this to high priority because um, it's not as important. But you know what? Might as well do the gears too because we do need gears um, as soon as possible. I would like to. So we have 116 science. Um, oh, we have an open beaver. Nice. Okay, so that's there. How many do we have working here? Cool. So what I'm thinking is, since we have now more science going, we do need to unlock uh, the medium tank. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. But this does require gears and planks. So unfortunately, we're not really going to be able to do anything about that for now. Um, but ultimately, what I would like to see at least is getting these uh, water pumps built. And uh, once they're built and we have the storage for, we have the ability to actually make these water tanks, we can start to get rid of a couple of these boys. Um, these, these aren't really doing a whole lot for us. They're only storing 30. Um, so like with one of these, for example, uh, the, the bigger, the medium ones, they hold 300 water. Uh, so that's 10 times the amount that's stored in, in, in these little guys. So obviously like the, it'll outweigh itself or the, the end result of having that much storage is going to be very beneficial for us. So I think, uh, this is where kind of prioritization of things is going to come into play. Uh, 
we probably will want to get these prioritized higher because uh, it's obviously more important to get the dam built versus getting the uh, staircase up to here built um, so we can get this closed off because yeah until this is closed off we're not really gonna be able to technically store that much water we we have i think two two full uh levees kind of held up holding of water um, which isn't bad but i would rather be able to close that off um, go ahead, go ahead and delete this that is empty we'll delete that so we don't have any openings um our two breeding pods are done so that's great oh they're actually almost nice cool so that's great to see oh hey look that's see that's so why why is oh because it's nighttime okay let's see what happens so we have one beaver who has no job but we have two vacancies how does that Oh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. So, if we have enough... Nice. It's like it read it in my mind. Perfect. So, because we have enough science, we were able to unlock the oil press. And with the oil press, what we're going to be able to do is... Um, uh, basically take... Um, what is it? Canola seeds and turn them into oil. And with that oil, we can then make uh, fermented soybeans and a few other things that are re that the oil is required for. However, what I just noticed is that we don't have a whole lot of power. Um, as you can see, this is requiring 75 horsepower. I mean, it should be really be beaver power, but you know, whatever. This technically, the fermenters will take, I think, so 50. Uh, this is taking 120, and we're only generating about 160-ish horsepower. I'm gonna put this levy up, so hopefully that'll help. Yep, look at that. So that helped to generate a little bit more, but that's not enough. Um, so what I'm thinking we do is, since we have a staircase here, we can actually um, add a couple of uh, water wheels. However, um, we need to kind of find the best place. And it seems like this little path right here is gonna be a great place for this, um, just based on the flow of water. So let me pause. Let me make sure we kind of do this correctly. I don't want to mess this one up. Um, let me see. If I do it here, no, I'm gonna do it. Even though I'm gonna kind of miss out on a little bit. It's fine. I'll do that, and that's gonna be quite a lot of power when there's water flowing, which is great news um, because these will generate a lot of power. Um, as you can see, we have about. 245 which is basically our demand um the right side is the sorry here's a here's a uh something that just confused not confuses but it's like a ui ui moment with crouton and you know why is power supply on the left side but then power demand is on the right side like ultimately, if we're making 240 horsepower all the time, but our demand is 245, wouldn't we want to see the the demand on the left side? So it'd be like network power demand and then network power supply. Maybe it's just me, you know, I'm just nitpicking. Don't get me wrong, this game is amazing. I love this game. Uh, that's just one of the things that I'm like, why don't we just have the uh, numbers flipped? But, oh God, Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> I went into a little uh, state of panic there. Um, so by the looks of it, since this levee was built, we actually are probably gonna want to get these levees built. Um, 
and that'll at least help to kind of keep the water flowing this way so it doesn't come down over here um we don't really care so much over here because there's no uh nothing over here that's kind of working um however oh drought time however the uh it will start to overflow at some point and that'll be problematic. I'm gonna slow things down here, I feel a little rushed. Um, okay, so great, we have that set up. What I'm thinking we'll do now, take a moment to breathe because I just didn't, I didn't breathe for like five minutes right there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and build an oil press, get a path to that. Do we have canola seeds? We have cassavas and we have soybeans. We do not have any canola seeds. So that's not good. Um, right? No, that's oak, blueberry, kohlrabis, and then cassava and soybeans. So we're gonna need to build another um, farmhouse and basically let me see this new farmhouse will be for whatever um but also so that we can actually get canolas because if we look at where our pharmacies farmhouses are now it they only so this one only reaches this blue square um and obviously since this is not really habitable area it's leave it to be you know dry and desolate so it's not going to support having food on it um and then this one only goes to here technically you know we could use this area but there's problems with that and we'll see that soon when the uh, drought kicks in and this water starts to deplete and we put these floodgates up for example what's going to happen is there's not going to be any water in here and so this is all gonna start to dry up and you know, there's a very good potential that whatever uh, crops we place in this area will die and then there'll be waste of, uh, waste of our labor. So rather than potentially risking the biscuit, uh, risking it for the biscuit, uh, as all the cool kids say, I will rather not do that and plant them in this area, uh, kind of closer to the little river we have um, because there is water flowing in here and we do have these dams here so that'll at least help to keep this area hydrated and wet um, we will want to remind ourselves in about a, a day when there's a day left before the drought to make sure we have enough water in here so that this doesn't dry out either because uh, that will also be problematic obviously um, but yeah Hopefully that makes sense. I think it does. I think that was pretty clear. Uh, but yeah, so we do need to get some canola seeds. Um, we'll have canola oil. Um, and so that means we'll need some storage for that, which we can put in a small tank. Uh, which I think right there suffice. Will, be, will suffice. Um, we'll need a path. What's going on here? Oh. There you go. Nice. Noise, noise, noise. Look at that. So we have two beavers without jobs, which means that they do need to do something. So I think putting them into the builder's hut will be perfect. Uh, oh shoot, we have no water. I need to make sure that... Oh shoot. Oh my god. Okay. Um, why did I do that? Why did I do this? Why do I do these things to myself? Okay, this needs to be very, very, very high priority. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's see what happens. Pause. Sorry. Uh, we obviously did not make it, but that's because they started to build that, and I don't know why this is not being prioritized. Do we not have planks? Oh God, we don't have planks. 
Okay, well, uh, let's... I'm gonna just not do montage mode and see what happens. Like, I don't understand. Isn't there... Oh, no, there's only logs. There are no planks over here. Nope, no planks over here either. Oh, boy. Oh, oh God, what's happening? Oh, God. Oh, oh, it's flooding. Open the pit. Right, that's good. I wish we had like more finite control over these. I know why. Like I know we can't um, for like based on how the water works and functions. Uh, but I really wish we could. It'd be so great. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Oh, thank God. All right, that's great to see. So we got that set up. Um, we have 25 logs, that's good. We are starting to get more water. Um, obviously it's not going as fast as I would like, but it is what it is. Sorry, I was just scoping out the dam to see what's going on there. I like how this one's thirsty and he's carrying water. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on montage mode because, you know, yay. Oh wait, pause, pause. No, we're not, no, we're not. Hold on, let me get everything set up. Because, okay, that needs to be there, perfect. This needs to go to two, and this is gonna go to three. And we're gonna let everything fill up and overflow. And I'm saying that because we have the, dam the drought starting, so, you know, we gotta make sure that is all all good cool so that'll temporarily oh boy this is the longest drought we've had seven days this is going to be a real test for us because we uh we don't have any water um <laughs> yeah that's not good okay i'm gonna go ahead and pause this one this one and this one we do actually we do need planks so i'm gonna put it here for, that's 40 logs it's not bad i guess we have plenty of logs i just don't really want to i need to put that there okay so this will get built eventually um and this will allow for us to still continue to make planks because they are very important and we will need them very 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 soon um, to do anything else. All right, so I don't know, it's still paused. Start pausing a couple of things. We have plenty of beavers that need work. All right, so let's go ahead and let's watch over the world here and see what happens. All right, so let's see what's going on here. So, we got plenty of food. We're doing okay with water. Um, we got our beaver here making planks, or making power for the planks, so that's good. Uh, nice, we have our medium tank. Um, so what that means is we can start to just delete these other tanks um, that are kind of useless, because there's no water in them. Excuse me, I'm gonna burp. Uh, uh, great, so that was beautiful. 
Um, we do probably want to get some more trees planted in these areas that don't have anything planted in them. Um, what I'm thinking is maybe we put some over here as well and over here and maybe over here. I don't remember exactly what I was planning to do over here. I think I was originally going to want to do the dam, but I don't think we're going to do the dam all the way that big. That seemed excessive. Uh, how are we doing with this? I'm going to say let's get that high prioritized. Um, we can put a staircase there and this will then allow us to create a path that's a lot more we can see kind of like the the um i think it what is it called it's the uh distance to district center so like as we go further away but it, it also is the, the efficiency that the beavers can it takes for them to travel to uh you know wherever and by when they have greener paths, that obviously that means that they're going to be a little more efficient in how far their traveling is. Um, when it's like darker, when it gets a red, um, it takes them longer to go where they need to go, and it, that means that they have less. They're able to. They're they're not able to do as many trips to wherever they're going, um, and it's going to cost them more energy to go where they're going. If I haven't said that already, I don't think I have. But uh, yeah, so it's very important to kind of keep that. In, the, in, in your mind when you're doing any of this design stuff because um, it it does impact the uh, efficiency of your of your districts um, and that's like even though they remove the district limits um, it's very important to not let them travel very far because they won't be as efficient when it comes to building uh, or you know fetching resources or whatever uh, when you might want to uh, go, you know, maybe like, for example, if like I were just to keep one district, I could technically create like one giant path that gets over here. But you can see based on this path, how red it is, even like after the staircase is built, it's still going to be pretty red at this point. Um, and it, it, it's going to be very, very red as you get further and further away. It's going to be like the beavers will get one or two trips from over here to over there and that's it and then the day will be over and then they're going to go to sleep and obviously that is like the least efficient way to do anything um kind of like over here you can see this is 70 um this the distance is 70 i think it's like the pa amount of steps or paths that they're blocks that they have to go um so something that might be much more efficient is building uh that there like a path and then adding a staircase there and once this is built it'll actually reduce significantly the amount of uh, distance it takes for them to travel cool so i know there's a lot of words i'll let that one sit for a little bit um and i'm gonna go ahead and just watch over everything and see what's going on because it looks like everything's going together pretty well uh we have 360 science so that's that's good we uh consider unlocking something we need a paper mill let me see what's over here i'm gonna slow this down so nothing goes crazy i can't wait to get dynamite that's like my favorite um 600 for that the row house is 180 and these are great for uh like the smaller districts that won't have as many people um once we get to that point scavenger flag we can unlock oh my my doggy hears something outside let me see probably here's a, a dog walker or whatever you know i i'm gonna say we do the uh row house hopefully it's not too annoying i'm like i'm recording i think at the worst time of the day to record it's 4 30 p.m and People are walking their dogs and whatnot. Oh, I don't have enough science for that. Now that we have that, I would like to get the row house set up here. And put that over there. We we'll want storage once everything gets built up over here. Um, well, we're gonna put a district center here somewhere, um, but we will also 
definitely need storage. Um, it's the industrial pile. Okay, so put water there. We're gonna want to have food of some kind here. So I think what we do is kohlrabi's, and then um, this will be logs, and we'll we'll want one for planks as well. Um, put that there. Put planks into there. Um, and we can't really do anything about this for now. Um, we have to wait until we have a, uh, the district trading post or whatever they're called, the uh, district crossing actually unlocked um, before we can set things up. But basically we will have the ability to manage what districts, what we can pass along to different districts. Um, but until then, we're just gonna kind of sit around and wait for that to, to operate or to, to happen. Oh yeah, we need to get this pathway set up, don't we? making this these scaffolding or these these uh what's it called these platforms they're scaffolding so that they're built around our dam so that when we do start to unpause these pieces the uh the dam will the beavers will be able to access the building point um and they'll it won't say like out of reach or too far from the district because that's currently it says that because they can't build this high um so i'm gonna pause this as well I'm doing that because I'm gonna actually unpause these bottom ones um, so that we have that kind of barrier and then the water will just is gonna overflow out of the triple floodgates which is fine um, speaking of that I think actually we're doing pretty good with the amount of water we have so I think that's good we only have half a day left in this drought so Great news. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just let some water out anyways. Um, doesn't hurt. Uh, we can put some down there as well. Just kidding, there's not enough water. Just put a little bit and then just close that back up. How is our water situation? So we have water there. So I have to travel all the way over here just to kind of get water. This may not be the best place for this. I think that's actually, yeah, I'm, I did goof that, didn't I? Let's go ahead and get that there. And then, oh, yay, drought's over. So we have four beavers that don't have jobs, and now they will have jobs. the water just gets over there cool look at all that power how much we got nice look at that that's beautiful that is beautiful all right well uh i think oh god okay pause pause oh shoot what's happening uh <laughs> drop that down to one um that up there let's lift this up temporarily uh, oh god what's happening okay everything good we all good all right let's hope we're good okay anyways back to uh back to what i was saying so i think I mean, we didn't unfortunately get to where I wanted to, which is creating the next set of districts. Um, but it looks like we're on a good track. So I think we're kind of in a good place here to uh, wrap up the episode. 
Um, we obviously succeeded and we survived our longest drought so far, which was seven days. So yay for everybody. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, yeah, the next one will be hopefully just as good, if not better. Uh, anyways, I'm going to sign off here and uh, wish you all a great rest of your day, night, afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it might be. Uh, cheers. And I'm, I'm Crouton and uh, yeah. Toodaloo.